Hey guys, this is Jack from FPV Academy in partnership with GetFPV.com. Today we're going to have a closer look at the Lux V2 flight controller from Lumineer. Now the Lux V2 is the upgraded version of the widely popular Lumineer Lux flight controller. The Lux V2 board builds on all the best features of the V1 and it also improves on the general layout and hardware. Now the board uses a very powerful F3 processor along with the top of the line hardware. This board allows you to achieve gyro refresh rates of up to 8kHz using the popular Betaflight, Cleanflight and Raceflight firmware along with ultra low loop times. The board also comes out with a whopping 5 UART ports as well as an SD card slot for your black box data logging. That is perfect for my personal use for FPV Academy because I do use black box all the time so this flight controller will be on all my builds. The microprocessing unit has also been updated to the low noise NPU 6000 gyro making tuning even easier. You also don't need to jump solder between two pads anymore to choose between PPM and S-Bus because that's now chosen via the software. The powerful F3 microprocessing unit also allows for the latest D-Shot ESC protocol. Now the general design of the Lumineer Lux is a very low profile board allowing you to mount it in a variety of ways. The board also comes with a set of pin headers so you can optionally solder those on. Alternatively, signal wires can be soldered directly to the pads to save on size and weight. The Lux does support PPM or serial receivers including Futaba, FreeSky, S-Bus and DSMX4 Spectrum radios. Now all in all, Lumineer made some really great improvements on the previous Lux flight controller. This is really a great flight controller if you're looking for an F3 board with an SD card slot and it'll support all the latest in technology, this is definitely a flight controller to consider. Now if you are interested in purchasing this flight controller, it is available on the getfpv.com website. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out if you're interested. Also, if you learned anything in this video, then make sure you let us know by hitting the like button to the bottom right of it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.